Hi everybody, this would be a very like probably quick video today, but it's just to get your opinion on something. Now, over here I have my set. Unfortunately today is the day where I've got to take everything down because what I've got to do is I want to film the room as if it was a different side of the room because in previous videos what I've done is I've just basically green screened the wall behind me, had a fake couch behind me, had Wilson separately green screened and me green screened as well and I'll sort of do the moving around and talking. However, I just don't think that looks very good. I've gone to the trouble of building this whole set. Why don't I make a separate set for myself rather than just some sort of bodge job, job green screen thing? Let me, I'll show you an example of what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it before, but it just won't look good against that. So I'll show you quickly. Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't look good if you ask me. It looks very, it looks a bit shite. So I want to make it look a bit more real. So yes, I'm taking all this stuff down and I'm going to plaster the walls, move the window and plaster the walls with posters and stuff. But I want your opinion because I've got a load of posters from back in the day, from way back in the 90s, but I'm not sure which ones to use. Now, I don't have a lot of space to put them up. I've probably got about one, two, three, four, four posters I can put up, but I've got a whole heap of them that I can use. And I want your opinion to what you think is probably the best to put up. So what I'm gonna do is show you all my posters and you can pick which is the best and the best ones that get the most votes or whatever you wanna say, uh, can they can go up. So first one, the first poster I have is this one, a nice bright Yoshi, Yoshi, Mario and Yoshi one, sorry, never played this game as a kid. It came out quite late in the, on the, um, or was that Wario Woods? It was Wario Woods. And I think this game was quite a late title on the Game Boy anyway. I can't quite remember, but um, I never had it as a kid. So there's Mario and Yoshi. That's my first poster. Now, this one I really like, because this is a game that I had as a kid. And I actually, this is a game I had. A bit, bit dark, but when my parents got divorced, this game was kind of the game I went to to play when it was all the moving around, moving house and that sort of thing. But this game was a good one, man. I liked it. It was Super Mario Land 2. And it's the, the six golden coins. I had to look at the title then. So it's a lot of game of my childhood and I love it dearly, but I forget the title. The six golden coins, we had to go around and get them all. I don't actually think I ever completed it either. So I'll have to get around to doing that at some point. Now this one, I really like this one. I really like it. A lot of these posters are double-sided, so I'll show you the other side as well. Um, but this one, I really quite like, man. Because I like this film, it's a film. And that is, the Last Action Hero. Who remembers this film? It's a, it's a bit of a classic, man. I haven't seen it in a while. I'm not sure if it's aged badly, but um, I think the critics said it wasn't very good when it came out, if I remember correctly, but I loved it. I, was, I found it absolutely hilarious. And on the back of there, you've got like an oversized Total uh, Magazine comic there, front cover with Asterix. Is he blowing a light bulb? Oh no, he's, I, thought, I always thought he was blowing up a light bulb for some reason, but no, he's drinking some sort of potion? or something, or blowing a balloon, I don't know. Um, another one is another oversized comic, and that is Super Play. Here we go, with Chung Li and Spider-Man, and, oh, shite, who else is there? R2-D2, you've got a whole mix of characters there, including a Super Nintendo down there. And on the back of there, I think what they've got is, yes, they've got a, uh, a calendar of some sort. So that's quite cool. But, yeah, there's, there's better ones. Now here's his N-Force. Who remembers the, remembers the, uh, the N-Force magazine? That's pretty cool. But I think the back of this is even cooler because it is Street Fighter 2. The Street Fighter 2. Not Street Fighter 2 Turbo, just normal Street Fighter 2. But I like that, man. I like that. I'm not sure if I put that one up, but I might do. I like that one a lot. Now, this is Zool. Oh, no it's not. That is Zool. A Zool calendar. I like Zool, it's cool. That rhymed. I'm renowned for that. But like, um, I think uh, I prefer some other ones. I do like that one though, that's quite cool. Now this one, I've got no idea what it is whatsoever. So you have to enlighten me and tell me what this one is. And that is, I don't know. I don't know what it is. The Chaos Engine maybe? I don't know, but you've got these flying things in the background here. The art style was amazing. The art style was brilliant, but I'm just not sure at all of what the hell it is. So again, for those of you that know, let me know. Now this one I like, 
I had this game as a kid, and that is Stunt Race FX. Who remembers this? Using the FX chip that Star Wing and Doom, and what other games use the FX chip? Star Wing, Doom, Stunt Race FX, God, there's more. There, there is more, there is more. But yeah, that was a good one. And on the back of there, it's got like uh, outlines of the maps, the Easy Ride Circuit, Aqua Tunnel, Sunset Valley. So you've got all those too. So you can flip it either way when you're playing the game. You can see the, the play, see the, the maps or whatever. And then flip it back over once you complete it, I guess. Here we've got a Sonic 2 Yearly Planner. One side's really interesting with the imaging, but the other side, a bit, I don't know. And also up there, I've got an, uh, an August 1995, I don't know if you can see, August 1995 calendar. That is 1993, so that affects continuity. But this one's weird, man. This one's weird. You've got like Ryu getting flipping attacked by the Ultimate Warrior, and then you've got Sonic, I mean, it's pretty cool, this one. Then you've got Mario standing next to him, you got like a mix match of just art styles, cartoony, and then you got like here, man. You got a lemming there. Can you see that? A lemming there who looks like he's flipping, spent too many, too too long in these '90s nightclubs. He's out of his eyeballs. Um, this one I like, but there's a better one, and that is uh, the illustrated uh, version of Star Fox. Before we had, there was kind of like a, a photographic version of this, which I kind of prefer. But um, yeah, you got the illustrated one, pretty cool, by Superplay. Superplay magazine, for those of you who remember that. Cool 90s magazine that was. And we've also got an illustrated Street Fighter 2 thing here, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm not really too keen on the art style of this, but it is good, nonetheless. And then you've got kind of like all the all the bag all the guys down there, the, all, all your characters down there. Sorry about the glare if you can't you can't see these too much. Sorry, the hiccups. My friend used to because all these all these posters belong to my friend. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but he gave them all to me basically. And on, in that he would actually collect uh, newspaper art cutouts as well of games. So this came with which is another UK paper called the Daily Mirror, and it came with. Uh, this, which is Super Mario, and it'll probably give you tips, tips, tricks, and other things. Oh yes, we've got something from Games Master. Dominic Diamond is in there, of all people. There he is. Can you see that? Dominic Diamond. There he is. Hey! Frank Bruno. Oh, memories. Uh, this one, some of you may think, would be uh, worthy of going up on the wall. And that is Mega Man X! Who remembers Mega Man X? Who doesn't remember Mega Man X? And on the back here, I like this one, man. I like this. It's very plain, but it's Total Magazine. And for anyone that grew up in the UK, uh, back in the 90s and played video games religiously, will remember Total Magazine. And I kind of want to put this up because I remember, I remember Total Magazine. And it's another one of those things, if you don't talk about it, it just fades into obscurity and disappears forever. So I kind of like that total one. Just a big total picture to remember the good old days of reading magazines. So I've got a soft box for that one. Let me know if you agree. This one, I believe, I'm not too good at video games. I mean, I played video games back in the day a lot. Um, I don't so much play them much anymore because I'm so busy with my cardboard stuff, ironically. Um, but like, uh, I didn't have much money back in the day, so I'd just go to car boot sales and pick up cartridges and cartridges and cartridges for like how much they were. Pretty, pretty cheap back in the day if you went to car boot sales. And um, so I didn't know, I, didn't, I still don't know to say much about video games, but I think this is Super Metroid. Don't take offense by that. Some of us just don't know. Some of us just aren't as clever as other people when it comes to video games. But yeah, I think that's Super Metroid. Pretty cool though, pretty cool. Um, this one is, I mean, this one is just an absolute classic. But I mean, like, are we in focus? Are we in focus? We are in focus, I hope. I hope we are. I saw the little focal focus on it right there. But this is, uh, I mean, what can I say? It's Star Wars. Back in the 90s, Star Wars was three films. Now it's about 20. And uh, the charm is kind of gone for me a little bit. Star Wars is just kind of like, 
I don't know, it's just so well known now and so, I mean, it was, it was really well known back then, but it was something special back then, Star Wars, and for now, I don't know, it's just my opinion, man, it's my opinion, but it's just the, the charm for me with Star Wars is kind of gone. One thing I haven't got a flipping clue about is this. I don't know what the hell this is, man. What's this called? The Shadow? I don't know what this is. I, I've never seen this film. I like to call myself a film buff, but I cannot remember the shadow. But the other side is flipping cool as hell. And this is Jelly Boy. Who remembers Jelly Boy? But I flipping love that poster. I remember Jelly Boy. P pretty damn cool. Pretty, well, pretty funny, actually. I hope this is all coming in focus. Um, and then the last but not least is the final poster, and probably one of my favorites. Not this way. This is um, Tough Enough, and I'm not quite sure what that is. I don't know. But maybe one of my favorite posters, and maybe, maybe one of my favorite games on Super Nintendo, is Star Wing. Some people say it's dated, and you'd probably be right, but I flipping love this poster. I love the game. I love the music. I love the sound effects, and the, the bosses, and the explosions. I flipping love this game, Star Fox. Um, but it's Star Wing over here in the UK. But yeah, man. I've, I, um, they're all the posters I've got, that's all I have. I'm going to start taking down all this stuff and reorganise it. So maybe for the next video, um, let, well, in this video, let me know what you think of the best posters are. And for the next video, I'll show you them all arranged and uh, how it all looks. And then me and Wilson can do our sitting next to each other. Wilson have a little cushion down there somewhere. I'll put a little plant up and some little snacks and a little dog bowl and stuff like that. So it looks like a separate part of the room. So that's it for now. Um, this is just to get uh, some ideas and uh, let me know what you think the best poster is. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you once again for more Late Night Reviews. Goodbye.